five minutes into the 11th season of The X-Files, Channel 5, there was a moment that must have had a large percentage of viewers shouting oh, come on at the screen, that's quite a feat for a series that over 208 episodes has specialized in investigations into the wildly implausible. David Duchovny's FBI agent Fox Mulder had just arrived at the hospital where his partner Dana Scully, Gillian Anderson, was unconscious after a seizure. As a doctor explained, she had extremely abnormal brain activity. Scans showed her hypothalamus flashing green. I don't know what I'm looking at, interjected FBI assistant director Skinner, Mitch Pileggi, but I'm reading this flashing as code. Six dots, two dashes, him, find him. Yes, Scully's unconscious brain was being used as a Morse code transmitter. But that wasn't the half of it, anyone who had turned on hoping to find out what happened next after the finale of season 10 was in for a shock. In that cliffhanger episode, mankind had been struck by a virus that infected anyone who didn't have extraterrestrial DNA. Scully was immune, Mulder was dying. It ended with Scully staring up into the light of a hovering UX. Oh,